What's going on guys, Briar Rabbit here. Today I wanna to talk about Destiny's Crucible lag and dedicated servers. So the Iron Banner is wrapping up today and like always, when the Iron Banner is around, the issue of dedicated servers seems to be on the mind of a lot of Destiny players. And there is a reason for this. When playing normal Crucible, players often jump in solo and Destiny's matchmaking, which uses peer-to-peer -peer networking, matches a large pool of players up by skill, connection, and some other factors. This will generally create a fairly decent experience. You may still see some players lag, but it will usually be isolated to one or maybe two individuals in a 6v6 game mode. Peer-to-peer -peer works fine here. The matchmaking is able to pull from a large number of players, assign hosts to somebody with a good connection, and then move forward. In Iron Banner though, things aren't so smooth. Because of the increased emphasis on winning, more players team up, often forming four, five, or six man teams. Because of this, the Iron Banner often displays the shortcomings of Destiny's matchmaking on a far greater level than other game modes. Consider this, Bungie wants six man teams to play other six man teams. This is good. A team full of randoms does not want to be blown out by a pre-made team who is communicating, team shotting, and coordinating capture points. And vice versa, the pre-made team doesn't want to just casually stomp randoms. It's not exciting, it's not fun for either team. So Destiny is trying to match make pre-made teams together. And this creates some problems. First, each of those teams can be made up of players from all over the place. So the quality of the connection between teammates may be shoddy to begin with. And add in the fact that Destiny is trying to match make two full fire teams and the potential pool of opponents gets smaller. So Full fire teams may get match made against a team who is not even on the same continent that you are. This, as we all know, makes for some horribly laggy Iron Banner matches. So how can we fix this? Well, there have been a lot of solutions offered by the community. Dedicated servers is often on the forefront of this conversation. So let's quickly talk about the difference between dedicated servers and peer-to-peer -peer matchmaking. Peer-to-peer, -peer, what we have now, uses a matchmaking server to collect and organize all the players who would like to play a specific activity. Let's use Iron Banner for an example. The matchmaking server will look at criteria like player skill, connection relative to other players, team size, and group people up to play the match. Then it will select one player, theoretically the player who has the best connection to all other players, and make them the host of the match. This host will essentially be running the definitive version of the game on his Xbox or PlayStation. All other players will be connected to the host and play. Peer-to-peer -peer actually works wonderfully if the player pool is big enough. Because a player is the host and is acting as a server for the game, the game can be played on connections that are fairly close together and have minimal lag. The problem with peer-to-peer -peer is if the player pool is smaller or if players are on a pre-made team with players playing in different areas, there may not be one host available who has a good connection to everybody. So the matchmaking server has to try and do its best to select a host that will be the best for most players and we start to see crazy amounts of lag. Another problem with peer-to-peer -peer matchmaking, it can be manipulated. We all know about lag switchers abusing their privileges as hosts and chaos can ensue. It is a real issue and mainly limited to peer-to-peer. -to -peer. Dedicated servers are different though. These work by not only matchmaking games, but also eliminate the need for a player host by hosting the game on a server. This has some significant advantages. No one player has the advantage of being host. No one player's internet connection can hinder the play of other players. They don't require a home console to pull double duty as both server and terminal. And they are generally attached to some pretty beefy internet connections. 
There are some problems though. First is cost. To include dedicated servers in Destiny, Bungie would have to have many servers all over the world. We're talking thousands. Players would be connecting to these servers from anywhere you can imagine, and dedicated servers would have to be built locally or they are essentially pointless. And this would cost a fortune. Activision and Bungie are businesses. They're not in the business of giving away free stuff, so if dedicated servers were implemented, they would absolutely need to find a way to pay for it. I don't see them wanting to eat that cost, so that means they'll have to find a way to pass that expense on to us. Also, it may not solve the problem. A good connection, especially with low latency, is dependent on proximity. If you don't have a dedicated server nearby, you are always going to have a garbage connection. And in the Iron Banner, they may not help that much either. Remember, people like to play Iron Banner with teammates. These teammates may not be in the same region that you are in. They may be across the country or even on another continent. That server that is located near you may be thousands of miles away from the rest of your team. So somebody is gonna have to connect to a server that is not necessarily ideal. Again, creating bad connections. Ultimately, there is no silver bullet for online gaming. The internet is not consistent and speed and latency can vary widely from place to place, but everybody wants to play no matter what type of potato their internet is running off of. Are dedicated servers the answer? For many, they would be amazing, but come at a very high cost. For others, they would provide a consistently bad experience. But we know that peer-to-peer -peer matchmaking is not doing the trick. Maybe a hybrid system that employs peer-to-peer -peer when it's going to give good experiences and a smaller group of dedicated server that get used for matches when peer-to-peer -peer simply won't cut it would work. Hard to say, I'm not a networking engineer, but I do know that the current system is not a good one and something needs to be done. And it needs to be done pretty quickly. I believe that the lag of the Iron Banner in Trials of Osiris, in, in Destiny's PvP in general, is driving people away. They see other games that have a better player experience on the same connection that they're currently running Destiny on, and that's not acceptable, it's just not. We need an improvement in either networking code, matchmaking systems, or maybe by employing a small amount of dedicated servers. Bungie has to look at this because it's not acceptable to gamers in 2016. It's just not. So hopefully they are looking at this. I can't see a solution coming right away, right? I think with Destiny 2 in September of 2016, maybe we'll see some improvements with the coding. Maybe we'll see uh, some kind of limited dedicated server you know, usage, but we're never gonna see full dedicated servers. I just don't believe it'll happen. It's too costly. Bungie's already charging us for everything they can be inside Destiny. The, the next step would be like a monthly fee or something, and nobody wants to see that. I don't think Bungie or Activision wanna see that. So sound off down in the comments below. What do you guys think about dedicated servers? Uh, what should Bungie do to increase the playability of game types like the Iron Banner? Because right now, people just aren't happy with the lag, with the characters just running into walls, with you know unkillable players inside the Crucible. It's just not a fun experience. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button if you like the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.